Levin and Erfet have best described the catalyst for this progressive initiative. Nonetheless, students themselves are changing because of their use and reliance on the internet. They are coming to schools with different expectations, different skills, and different resources. In fact, our most internet savvy students told us their schools, teachers, and peers are at times frustrating, illiterate, naive, and even afraid of the online world. Indeed, students who rely on the internet for school, who can conceive, of, who cannot conceive of using it for their social, their schoolwork, may ultimately force schools to change to better accommodate them. Levin and Arfed point out that many schools and teachers may not may not have re yet recognized much responded to the new way students communicate and access information over the internet. They are the wired wired world children. They have grown up surrounded by TVs, mobile phones, computers, and the internet. These kids have new needs, new capacities, new capabilities. They're significantly different in nature from the students born before the existence of the wired world. The Media Awareness Group found that of the Canadian families surveyed, 82% say they have use they have used the internet, and 73% report that they have internet access in the home. The business community has started to recognize the need for students to acquire internet skills as stated in the report of the Canadian e-business opportunity roundtable in 2001. Much of our attention today is focused on attracting, attracting and retaining the existing pool of e-talent, while not enough focus on cultivating the next generation of e-talent. Internet li literacy, the foundation of skills for e-business acumen, may be, must be laid in elementary, secondary and post-secondary institutions across Canada.